pleating the square, we're going to isolate that C term. So once we subtract 10, this is what we're going to have. After we take half of the B term, right, so we take half the B term and square it, we're going to get 49 over 4, and we're going to add this on both sides of the equation. Now, when we break the trinomial back down to its binomial, this turns into x minus 7 over 2 squared is equal to 72 over 4 plus 49 over 4. When I simplify this further, family, we're going to get x minus 7 over 2 squared is equal to 121 over 4. So we'll use the square root property. Now we have x minus 7 over 2 is equal to plus or minus 11 over 2. We isolate x, so now we have 7 over 2 plus or minus 11 over 2. Once we break this down, family, this is what we're going to get. So x is equal to 7 plus 11, which is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9, so that's our first x. The second x, 7 minus 11, is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 means x is equal to negative 2. So my answer is going to be b. However, if you use another method, let's say you brought 28 over, you subtracted, we would have x squared minus 7x minus 18 is equal to 0. Once we factor this trinomial, we could have x minus 9 times x plus 2 set our factors equal to zero. So that means x is equal to positive nine, which we have, and x is equal to negative two, which we have. And this is how you could solve a quadratic equation with more than one method.